Welcome back. In the last video we started here, we wanted to write the equation of a parabola passing through these three points. Okay. So the points were negative phi, negative phi, three comma, sorry, negative three comma, negative two, and one comma fourteen. So what we did was we substituted these three points in this equation, which is y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. When we substituted the first point, we got this equation. And when we substituted the second point, we got this equation, 9a minus 3b plus c is negative 2. And uh, when we substituted the third equation, third value, 1 negative 14, we got this. Okay, so now we want to solve to find a, b, and c. You can do this on a calculator, but it's always good to learn how to do it. So what I have done is, I'm going to do 1 minus 2. 1 minus 2 means equation 1 minus equation 2. So what we are going to do is, we're going to take away equation 2 from equation 1. Okay, so I have lined up A with A, B with B, and so on. So I'm going to do 25. So let me put a minus here. This minus is denoting, is tell, telling me I'm taking away. So 25A take away 9a. You should be knowing that is 16a. Okay. Now phi, negative 5b take away negative 3b. Okay. That is negative 5b plus 3b is negative 2b. And this is plus c minus c will get cancelled. So let me use a different color to cancel. So this and this gets cancelled. And uh, let me bring back my green. This is minus phi, take away minus 2. Okay, you can use a calculator. Minus phi, minus minus 2. That is minus phi plus 2, which is, let me rewrite, minus phi, take away minus 2, which is minus phi plus 2, which is negative 3. So I'll name this equation, equation 4. Okay. Now, I have already written, this is equation 2, and this is equation 3. I'm going to do the same process. I'm going to take away. So I'll use a different color here. So let me use blue here. So I'm going to take away. So 9a take away a is 8a. Okay. Minus 3b minus b is minus 3 4b. So let me use a different color to cancel. Red for cancel. This and this gets cancelled. And this is equal to minus 2. Always be very careful in sign. Minus 2 take away negative 14. Okay. Which is minus 2 plus 14. Which is 12. So this is equation number 5. So we have got equation number 3, sorry, we have got equation 4 in A and B, and uh, so let me rewrite, uh, let me make a space here. So I'm going to write equation 4 again here, yeah? so that is minus 16A minus 2B is equal to negative 3. And what is equation 5? Equation 5 is, this is equation 5. Equation 5 is 8a minus 4b is equal to 12. So, the same process I'm going to eliminate. Okay, I want to eliminate now 8, sorry, a. So, I'm, how can I eliminate A? If I make this 16A, this will become, okay, so have I made any mistake? Uh, why did I write a minus? No, so I'm, this is wrong. I hope you can see my mistake. Yeah, teachers do do mistakes, so let us find. So, yeah. So this is 16a minus 2b is equal to negative 3. Okay, so I can't cancel this. So what can I do? 
I'm going to multiply this by negative 2. Okay, why? I'm going to multiply this with the whole equation with negative 2. So, what's going to happen now? So, I'm going to write, rewrite this again. I'm going to rewrite this again as 16a minus 2b is equal to negative 3. And this I'm going to re rewrite in a different form. This is 8a times negative 2 is minus 16a. This is minus 4a times minus 2 is plus 8b is equal to minus 24. Okay, so what will happen now? Okay. So this, now you can add them. Okay, this is 16a minus 16a will get cancelled. Okay, this is minus 2b plus 8b is 6b. And this is minus 27. I hope you understand. I have added this too. So 16a plus minus 16a gets cancelled. Minus 2b plus 8b is 6b. And minus 3 plus minus 24 is minus 27. So I am use a calculator now. So what has happened? So b is equal to, I am dividing both sides by 6 minus 27 divided by 6. So my b should be, so let me use a calculator, uh, menu run, uh, menu, so let me delete this, this probably is not working. Here we go, menu run. So I have minus 27 divided by 6 equal minus 4.5. So my B is minus 4.5. So that's helpful. I figured out B. Now I have to figure out A. <coughs> so what do we know? Do we know an equation of A and B? So let me use black now. So I'm going to write this again. 8A minus 4B is equal to 12. Okay. So, I'm going to put this into this. So, this becomes 8a minus 4 times negative 4.b, 4.5 is equal to 12. So, this is 8a, negative and negative makes positive. This is 18, okay. Double of 4.5 is 9, and then again doubling is 18. So, that is 12. So I'm going to take away a from sorry 18 from both sides. So 80 is equal to 12. Take away 18, which is negative 6. So I can say 4a is equal to negative 3. So I'm going to divide both sides by 4. So that a is negative 3 over 4. The a is negative 0 0.75. This is a very lengthy example, but this would be very, this would be an excellent question, okay, if it's asked in NCA. So, what do we know? A is negative 0 0.75, B is 4.5. So, let us rewrite that. So, A is, A is negative 0 0.75 and B is negative 4.5. So, what do we know? about a, b, and c. So, we know a plus b plus c is negative 14. So, let us rewrite that. So, we can write a plus b plus c is equal to negative 14. So, a is negative 0 0.75 plus negative 4.5 plus c is equal to negative 14. So this is 4.5 and 0.5 is, so you have a negative, you have a 4.5 and 5, so this is 5.25 5 plus C is equal to negative 14. So I want, I'm going to add plus 5.25 to this side, so to add plus 5.25 to this side. 
So what happens? So let me bring my book black. So C is equal to uh, 5.25 minus 14. Okay, so let us use the calculator. Again, so not working. Let me open it again. Menu 1, 5.25 minus 14 is 8.75. So my C, we're almost in the home stretch. Oh, where, where are we? Oh, sorry, yeah, you're right. So my C is minus 8.75. Yeah, minus 8.75. Oh, I have to delete this. I, I don't know why. Okay, so let me delete this. So, so, so let me write. So C is minus 8.75. Okay, so the equation is y is equal to, what is my a? a is negative 0 0.75, so that is negative. Yeah, I've got the answer both places. Negative 0 0.75 x squared, b is negative 4.5 minus 4.5x and c is 8.75 minus 8.75. This is a wonderful quadratic equation. Okay, so we need to check the three points now. The three points were negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, negative 5 and 1, 14. So we'll use the calculator menu graph y is equal to negative 0 0.75 x squared minus 4.5 x minus 8.75 execute let me make a bigger scale of 10 by 10 would work should work okay what did I do? Oh, let me make a standard and then draw it. What's happening? Yeah. Okay. So let me make it. Uh, let me scroll down. Uh, execute minus say thirty. 2 plus 30, let me make a bigger scale of 5 and see what happens. Here we go. So let me check. Did I do any mistake? Let me go back. Negative 0 0.75. Oh, yeah, here yeah, is the mistake. Negative 0 0.75. Oh, I didn't know I forgot the point there. Okay, it's always good to check. Okay, so let me make it 10 by 10. I think it should work now. Yeah, perfect. So but this is what. So let me go G sol and Y calc. Let me put negative 3. I should get negative 2. Here we go. When X is negative 3, Y is negative 2. Again, G sol. And when X is negative 1, y should be negative 5. That's right. When x is negative 1, y is negative 5. And g sol, when x is 1, what is y? y is negative 14. So this is one of the longest video that, videos that I have made. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.